All right, guys, so we're gonna be doing some coring of these agaves by taking out that growing center. It's forced to throw out some pups through the roots. Um, now, there's a couple different ways you could do it. What we're doing here is um, I'm gonna use these scissors just to cut away the tips on this guy here. So now what I'm gonna do, now that I've cut away the, the tip, the point, I can get in there easier. I could use the knife. I could use the knife and just go straight down and you're basically just killing that core. And you can just spin it around and just trying to go right down the middle. Get this stuff out of here like that. But you wanna make sure that you really kill the core because that could actually grow back still from the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the drill. Baby, dynamite. Now, you might want to wash your hands because this liquid on the agave can actually be an irritant to your skin and make you kind of itchy. So what we did with this one was just coring it. We just killed the growing center and now uh, the roots and the rest of the plant will start to make more pups. You want to hit this with some fertilizer uh, in about a week and, you know, try not to get any water right in there, but, you know, just water around the sides. So we got Brandon here, agave nerd on Instagram. He's taught me actually all that I showed you guys earlier about coring and he's here to actually do these uh, really prized agaves because he knows what he's doing for sure. So, Yeah, um, yeah. so today we have a, a white rhino is, is usually what people call it, just the Queen Victoria. So we're, we're actually, there's kind of two parts to this. So we're, we're, what I usually recommend is we'll core first and then we'll split it in half. It makes it easier to cut it right in half instead of yeah. guessing uh, once you once you do that initial cut to core, you can see where the middle is a lot easier and uh, your knife doesn't get pushed one side or the other. But something I want to mention is you want to cut or core something between a one gallon and a five gallon because uh, you know they're younger, they're more vigorous, so they're going to want to push out pups quicker. People might be asking, why are we cutting uh, these nice big white rhinos? Uh, well, as they get older, they actually tend to pup less. Uh, we've already pulled a bunch of pups off of them throughout their life, so now the next step is to core them, cut them, and force them to put out more pups so we can just... Yeah, so uh, a couple of different tools I would recommend, you know, your regular, uh, like serrated, uh, you know, taller knife, because w when you cut that in half, you know, if you have a longer handle, a longer blade, it just makes it easier. Again, you won't get stabbed by the agave. Uh, another one, maybe like a smaller knife, you want something with a point on it, um, just so when you start to core and remove some of that core, you can kind of get down in there, um, you know, a little better and you're not taking out big chunks at a time because you do want to be careful when you uh, remove the core. And then again, another one, I really like this one on the bigger agaves because it just has a, you know, bigger point and I can really get down in there and, and kind of twist, you'll see in a minute. All right, so what I'm going to do is just kind of get as low as I can on this core. And, and again, the only thing I'm doing here is just kind of cutting the tip off because if we left the tip on, it would just be impossible to, you know, to core this uh, agave evenly. So you can kind of see that middle core there. So that's where, you know, you want to stay as straight as you can. Now I'm just going to try to do the, the, do the best I can. I mean, if, uh, you know, if you're, it's a little scary the first time. So if you have a, you know, an a agave that's not, you know, as rare as something like a white rhino or as expensive, you know, you can always practice on, you know, something you can pick up at your local nursery or, or, or east side succulents. And Brandon, uh, have you noticed that the pulp makes you itchy ever? Yeah, you know, that's, uh, uh, I, actually I do. So, um, and I do have a theory on this, and this is, uh, this is probably not uh, scientifically proven, but I noticed in the summer and the warm season, when I get the, the agave, you know, sap on me, it, it, you do have a, re a skin reaction. Um, because I've noticed in the winter when I mess around or cut or prune, you know, these agaves, it, it doesn't irritate my skin as much. But uh, yeah, that's kind of funny you said that. Yeah, one time I was trying to make a needle and thread out of an agave, and so I just cut the tip and I pulled it back and I had it all connected and I was gonna do some sewing or whatever, and uh, definitely got itchy messing around playing like that. Oh yeah, um, so uh, now we have some of the center removed right now, and so, um, for me to get further down in that core, this is the part where we're going to split this in half. Let's begin to cut this in half. Let's 
So uh, you are wanting to cut all the way through the plant. Um, and then even what I'll do just to make it easier, uh, I will cut straight through the pot so it's easier to get out of here. You know, just again. So something like that. So just take this one. And it's good to have a, a pair of heavy-duty scissors because it, you know, we'll just cut these roots. Some of these aren't; these, some of these roots are not even active, so it doesn't really matter. But you know, we'll prune the roots back. If if you live in, um, you know, a, a cool or, or moist climate, you you know, you want to use your sulfur just to keep you know keep that fresh cut, you know, sealed and and you know where it's does, not gonna. Does it matter what there. time of year you do this? Could you do this in uh, the spring or the heat of summer? Or why are we doing it right now in fall? Yeah, so it, it, that's a good question. So if, if you would ask me that, I would say that spring, you know, early spring is gonna be your, your best bet just because just it's, you know, everything is kind of waking up and it, it's gonna, you know, push pups on the agaves that do produce pups naturally. I don't like to cut or core these agaves in the middle of the summer because even in a greenhouse, they sometimes they'll just, they'll cook and you'll lose the whole plant. So again, just, uh, you know, spring is, would be my first choice. And then it, early fall would be the best because it, it's in early fall, you still get, you know, this, especially in Texas, you get, you know, still have some good weather, cooler weather. So it just, it, it helps the plant where it's not, you know, having to struggle. Um, right. You know, but uh, but again, with my experience, I've cut some in the you know dead of summer, and a lot of them they just melt because it just melts because it gets too hot. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's what I recommend. But so what we'll do is we're gonna kind of get this situated, and what I like to do is I kind of like to plant this on on one side of the pot more than the other because what's gonna either happen is it's gonna most of the time it's gonna lay down like this. And then you're going to get most of your pups from from off this other side. So it just kind of gives it a little more room to pup, um, you know. Once this starts to lay over, um, it's just something that that it it naturally you know tends to do. Right, here we go. All right, just makes it easier. You just want to cover the cover this the fresh cut with the the sulfur. Nice. The best I like you can. that tool. Yeah, it's, I found this is a really instead of taking it and kind of throwing it on the agave or it just makes it a lot easier. So again, we just want to do that so that we don't create, you know, that it, it kind of dries it out, doesn't create moisture and, and invites bacteria or, or fungus and even insects as well. So it's just good to, it's a good practice to do that. So, so yeah, that's about it. We're gonna just kind of make sure this is packed in there nice, you know, so it doesn't fall out of the pot or go anywhere. Well, hey, Caden, come um, on over here and go, you can go ahead and go put some top dressing on this. Um. So uh, this is kind of the result. Um, so actually, Roy and I we cut, we cord and cut these Victorias. Um, I want to say are, uh, late, late spring, uh, early summer, um, and and so yeah, this is kind of what you get. Uh, you know, again, it's it's it, these are in such great shape. You know, they're rooted in, they're pushing pups already, um, and you're only gonna this plant is only gonna continue to produce produce pups, you know, in, until it's, until it can't anymore. Um, so yeah, this is just kind of what you get. Again, it's scary at the beginning, uh, you know, cutting, you know, such a nice agave like this, but if you do it right, you do it correctly, um, uh, to me, it's, it's worth the payoff. Make sure to like and subscribe Botany Basics and follow East Austin Succulents and Fireproof Plants on Instagram.